come back from surgery and it didn't it didn't go like super well. They had to move me around a lot. So it hurts really bad. But I actually haven't seen it yet. Hey guys, so my nurse just walked in. He said transport's on its way to do my procedure. Here we go. Peg is a brand name. It, it stands for percutuous endoscopic gastro jujunum too. Okay, I'm ready. I'm not going to be able to repeat that. Okay. Ready? Hey guys, is it going? It's been rolling for a while. Oh, it has. You'll just be able to cut okay, it. Okay, so I'm back from surgery and it didn't. It didn't go like super well. They had to move me around a lot. So it hurts really bad. But I actually haven't seen it yet. Oh, look. I've been impaled. Yeah. Wait, where's my belly button? Where's my belly button? <laughs> it's there. It's there. <laughs> they didn't take your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe out. belly button. Your belly button is there. Oh, okay. Okay. Your, your, way, your tube's way above your belly button, honey. They this, told me they want to touch it. It's right there. You it's got right that. right here. Okay. The I part of this, it. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Some of this is the anesthesia. Okay. They had to give you the max amount, okay. and so it makes you, so okay. it makes you, it makes you kind of shoopy. Okay. But I have my belly button. Yeah. Okay. It's there. Okay. Shh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anything else you want to say? Um, we should name it. Let's work on that later we when you have um full full when mental you have full capacity. mental capacity. Okay. 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 Cover up. Okay. All right. You can start your foot pressures. Okay. I really have my belly button. You do. Okay, because that's my favorite scar. Your belly button is my favorite scar, too. It's like the symbol of life. Yep. Yeah, and I cut that sucker, so you better keep it. They really didn't touch it. No, you're, no honey, belly your belly button is perfectly it's normal. Fine, Be careful, because you're, okay. My belly button's there. Belly button is perfectly intact. Okay. okay. It's, 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 it's blue. It's, it's, it's blue. My belly button is blue. Is it gonna fall off? No, <laughs> no honey. No. It's not gonna fall off. It's like that smurf stuff that they cleaned it. They wanted to make sure you didn't have any belly button. Okay. Okay. You couldn't have okay. you couldn't have You're, any. Good. You're good. Your belly button's intact. They didn't want you to have any belly button fuss, Abigail. What's belly button fuzz? You know, like when your shirt sheds on the on the inside of your on the inside. But I of had your... to be naked. But so I wouldn't. They kept have you covered up. 
They kept you covered up. Yeah, but I'm naked under this. You have underwear well, on now. I mean, yeah, but... But I wouldn't have any foots because I'm not wearing a shirt. You were wearing a shirt before you went down there. Oh, okay. Okay. Miss belly button because it's not going to fall off. No, no. It's not going to fall off. I love my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. my blood pressure? It was really good. Like 127 over 70 something a minute ago. Okay. And that was much better than after you came back from your endoscopy. Endoscopy. Uh -huh. Well, I'm in pain, so it's not going to be low. That's a good point. Good uh, thinking. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, it's a printer. Yep, there's a printer. Does it have a price? That thing. Does it have a what? A price, like in Walmart? No, it just says that it was 122 over 73. Your, your mean arterial pressure was 84, and your oxygen was 99, and your pulse was 101, which is a little high. Cause yeah, this time it was 90. But that's pulse is 93. But that's kind of expected. Okay. Yeah. Gee, you're normal. Yeah. With a normal belly button. I'm gonna check your blood sugar, okay? You better not fall. It won't. It's not going to. They just have to rub that stuff on there so they have a sterile environment. Yep. Okay. Is it called iodine? No. No, it's a different type of thing that they clean. I can't sure remember. I can't it's remember what she called it. But it's like the same stuff that they use when they put your midline in. Okay. But it's and it'll not come off. No. 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 The, the blue the stuff, stuff will come off. off. But well, not I know it's fine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop laughing. We're oh, laughing with you. Head. You're laughing oh, too. Just You're like good. people put color in their hair. It's okay. the color well, that may not be me. Your daughter's going to start that if they blew air in her tummy. Okay. Can you grab a paper towel? My That's tummy's behind bloated, them. Mama. Your My tummy's bloated. You're going to belch and it'll be... It's going to hurt. No, no, no. Actually, it's not. It'll feel it's better. Not. Your okay. your belly may feel bloated, but they vented that all out. Because there's that hole in the tube. That when they open it, the air that's in there came out. Okay. All right. And we'll so be able why to, am I bloated? You feel bloated because of all the surgery that they just did, okay. of the yanking and pulling. Okay. So we'll be able to do that too. We'll be able to. Um, but then in my belly button, it's not gonna fall off. I know it's far away. It's okay. probably. It's a good four inches, five inches okay. away. Is it gonna have a weird looking? No. Okay. Okay. If you think you can fall asleep. I'm not tired. Well, if you think you can rest your eyes, that might be um might be the best option she for never took this off. you have to leave it on. I have to leave it on. You have to leave it on because they're gonna check your your it's gonna go automatically for um four times in the next Why is my finger red? It's because there's a light in there, honey. There's a light. There's a light in there. Oh. It's just a light. Okay. So, so it's my making... finger won't fall off either. No. Okay. I think that what you need to do is try and rest Okay. Rest your put your hand down. Okay, I want you to close your eyes for me for a few minutes. But my belly button's safe. It's fine. Okay. Because I love my belly button. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Rest your eyes for me. Do they have to do any other surgery? No. You just had to do yanking and pulling? They're fine. Mm -hmm. the no, okay. no additional surgery. No nothing. Awesome. No nothing. Oh. Okay. So my belly button is safe, guys. No need to worry. Okay, I want
want you to put your hand down. I want you to try and rest. Okay. Which you rest by that light out of press. There we go. Hey guys, so I thought I would explain a little bit about what didn't go well in my surgery. So, um, I got down to surgery, or procedure, it's not a surgery, I keep saying surgery. But I got down to my procedure, and they were going to do a conscious sedation. So basically, that's like they give you medicines that mo make most people fall asleep, but then they're able to wake you up and then ask, hey, how are you doing and stuff? And then when you wake up afterwards, you remember none of it. But then what happened was they gave me the medicine and it did nothing. I was totally aware and everything was like normal. Like it was like they didn't give me any anything. And so they begin prepping me and all that stuff. And so then I was thinking, okay, you know, they're going to, you know, give me the medicine that's going to knock me out. And I'm just like sitting there staring at the light waiting to fall asleep. And I don't even feel drowsy and nothing's happening. So then I feel this insane pain in my stomach. And I'm like, ow. And, and the doctor like stops and he looks up at me and he's like, you're awake? And I was like, yeah, and I can feel that he was like, what? So then I'm like, he like already started, started cutting me open. So he's like, oh my gosh. And so he takes these shots, um, like these numbing shots, and he immediately puts one in. And he's like, well, we can't just stop because you're bleeding everywhere. And so we were like, okay. And so he turns to the nurse who was um, taking care of my sedation drugs and he was like, give her more. And he's like, I can't give her more for three more minutes. And um, and he was like, okay, we'll give her some immediately after she's allowed some more. And so I'm sitting there and I like start crying because I can feel it. Like the pain meds did not work at all. And I'm just crying and I'm moaning because it hurts so bad. I've never hurt so bad in my life. And so he stands and he's got the syringe ready to push it into my midline and he's looking at his watch and the second he just he like shoves it in there as fast as he possibly can and then they they're kind of looking at me and they're like are you still awake are you still awake are you still awake and I'm like yeah I'm still awake and I can still feel it and so they're like well we have to go on so he gives me a second shot um in my stomach and I still like I still could feel it um, even though he gave me a second numbing shot and I was like, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts. Um, and they were like, okay, well, you're going to fall asleep any minute now. Um, and then I never fell asleep. I never fell asleep. So they just continue on with the surgery and I feel everything. And because I have such a small torso, it was, they had to like push and twist and kind of maneuver things to be able to get the tube in. And it was just, my stomach is apparently higher than normal. So it was just a little, it wasn't necessarily like a difficult surgery, but it was more difficult than just like it normally is. And so they, oh, hang on. Oh, sorry, my nurse came in. Anyway, um, so they went on with the surgery. And so it was super painful and I felt everything and I was just moaning and crying. I couldn't control it. I like literally could not control myself. So then after they finished, um, they were like, okay, now I need to get you over to the um, transport bed to get you back to your room. And so then there's like, there's no way she can sit up. So they got like this plastic board and they rolled me onto my right side and that hurt so bad. Oh my gosh. And then, um, and then after that, they picked me up on the board and then they put me on the other bed and then pulled the board out and then I came back to my room and I was just crying the whole time and every time she hit a bump it was like oh my gosh it was so bad it was like he was cutting my stomach open again and then I got back to the room and um my parents and my grandma had to wait in the room and so we got back to the room and then they were like now we need to get you from the stretcher to your bed and so then they were like, how are we going to do that? So they just kind of picked up the blankets that were on the stretcher and then 
like four people just kind of picked up picked up me on the blankets and then moved me to the bed and that that was not very comfortable either um but then I did it and then we had to wait a long time for a more pain medicine because I was completely maxed out they had maxed me out with the pain medicine that they were giving me and it, it, it wasn't like a high-end pain medicine either it was just kind of like a strong Tylenol um, and also they I was completely maxed out on the sedation drugs and so I was losing it I was in so much pain I remember them moving me over to the bed but that's the last thing I remember like I don't remember any of that I don't remember freaking out about my belly button I I mean I don't like it's crazy I'm hoping like some of it comes back to me tomorrow but I don't know like because they told me that I would maybe be awake for the surgery but I would not remember any of it but I remember all of it like in detail and so I'm wondering if like maybe I just didn't have the drugs in me long enough or it just took forever to kick in but now I am awake and aware I am in a lot less pain than I was it still hurts if I try like if I laugh or if I take a deep breath so I'm kind of just taking little breaths here and there um, but my oxygen is fine it hasn't dropped or anything so I'm just chilling with my new tube my stomach is blue because of the cleaning stuff instead of using the orange stuff the the yellow stuff they use the blue stuff so I'm a smurf and um, also news where the doctor came in and he was like so your EEG came back normal and so we are withdrawing the diagnosis of your Paniotopolis syndrome so now I don't have Paniotopolis syndrome and they have no idea what's going on also the tilt table test that I failed they're like well you can just fail that and nothing be wrong with your autonomic nervous system so now they're saying I don't even have an autonomic dysfunction so now we have absolutely no idea what's going on but at least I finally have this tube so I can go home God willing like over the weekend hopefully but as soon as we can get the feedings under control and tolerated then I can go home and then we can do more tests as an outpatient not an inpatient so hoping that that works out well I will update you guys tomorrow good night